We'd like to show an example of how to sharpen a whisper shear on the Wilson X-Sharp grinder. So a whisper shear is a punch that has the, the angle, the three millimeter angle across the top. So the tip of the punch is three millimeters longer than the heel of the punch is. So what we need to do in order to do that is remove the three jaw chuck from the machine to start with. Three jaw chuck is used for pretty much any flat tool that you would be grinding. So that's what's most often on the machine. And we replace that with the four jaw chuck, which is able to tip to any angle we need it at. So we put that on the table and secure that on the table. And we should check along the way that our table is reasonably flat. Because we're going to be setting the punch flat, we want to make sure that the table that it's sitting on is also flat. Uh, if the table's at some weird angle, then that, that doesn't make sense to set the punch flat. So you want apples to apples on that comparison. So I'm good with that. If that table's not flat, that's uh, adjusting the machine leveling feet to, to get that. That's something that you probably took care of when you installed the machine. Uh, so now, we're going to put the whisper shear punch in there. It's helpful to use an alignment plate when you're doing that. These alignment plates come with a, a few different versions of this alignment plate for various punches. Uh, that helps you get the punch in and oriented correctly for the punch style. So now my, that lines my punch up perpendicular to the angle that the, tip, the chuck is going to tip. So put the punch in there and secure it in the chuck. Make sure it's secure and now we want to tip that punch so that it's flat. And we do that by adjusting these jack screws on the side. I need to tip this way so I'm going to loosen this screw to allow that chuck to tip and then I'll tighten this to hold it in that direction. It's going a little bit too far so I'll tighten this somewhat to come back. And you want to get that bubble centered as closely as you can. That looks pretty good. Double check that the punch is secure and that the chuck is secure on the machine. And now we're ready to grind that surface. And now at this point it's the same as grinding any tool on the X-Sharp grinder. I'll set my depth and just hit the start button and run through the cycle. Okay, so that's all there is to it. We use the four jaw chuck, tip it to the angle we need it at, using the bubble level to check that, and we're done. Ready to remove that punch and put it back in service.